Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Impractical Brit and today we are playing Siege Survival Gloria Victus. Um, so the developers are Black Eye Games and Fish Tank Studios. I'm just going to read a short description on the game uh, that they've wrote. Uh, a medieval city under siege and a handful of civilians are all that keep the walls from falling. Mixing survival strategy and resource management, build your camp, craft supplies and scavenge the occupied city to supply the last troops holding back the invaders. Right, okay, so it already sounds interesting. Uh, so let's uh, get started. Uh, then we'll go with story mode. Okay. Alright, the sixth day of summer, the year is 1205, Kingdom of Midland. We were just starting harvest when the Ismir's struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded throughout Edring, and the smoke-filled city streets ran red with the blood of the citizens. The savage warriors from Kalgald had invaded our home. The town guard fought bravely. But the Ismirs were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main square and the city centre stood in flames. All we could do was, was send a messenger out to summon aid. While outnumbered, the guards focused on pr protecting... Uh... Right. So I'm guessing this changes uh, the outcome of how the game starts, maybe. Um... I'm assuming if we're trapped in the castle, we'll have to let the uh, citizens sacrifice themselves, I'm afraid. We'll go with uh, workers salvaging supplies. Knowing the fate of the castle depends on food stops, the guards gave their lives to help salvage as much as possible. Would the extra supplies help us survive the siege? It was up to the rest of us to ensure this sacrifice would not be squandered. Okay, continue. The bloodshed continued, unabated. Street by street, square by square. The Ismirs overran the city, murdering anyone who didn't escape in time. Then they prepared their war engines, smashing the gate, connecting the town and the castle. We thought things couldn't get any worse when... We glimpsed a monstrous figure. The barracks were destroyed. Um, right, I think I'll go with Glimpse the Monstrous Figure uh, only because if we go for the barracks we're destroyed I'm not sure if maybe that means we can't get any more troops or I don't know but we'll see we'll find out the Kargaldas were led by their infamous nameless champion nothing I'd seen in my whole life was more terrifying than this beast like figure We'd all heard tales of this huge northerners, northerners, but nothing prepared us for the sight of this monstrous man walking up the streets of our city. In our hearts, we abandoned hope. We took shelter in the keep and took stock of the situation. Supplies were limited. No doubt the Ishmirs would soon attack again. The castle, the only part of Edring still uncaptured, was now under siege. 
and it was up to us to support our soldiers as they fight to stave off the enemy until relief comes. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're getting into it now. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the Siege Survival Glory of Victus. Okay, so this is just a little um, tutorial, I believe. Right. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's go and talk to this gentleman. Do we have to click him? No? Okay. You, rec you recognise the man before you. It's Bedram, a local carpenter. You're relieved to see he survived. It's clear, however, the events of the last day have scarred him in some terrible way. He just sits there, seemingly unaware of the presence of your presence, shivering and pressing his hand to his chest. Examine him. As you check him for wounds, you notice something is tightly clenched. Something is tightly clenched in his hand, sorry. It's a small scorched doll. You suddenly realised this man had just lost his family. Oh dear. There is nothing you can do for this kind of pain. Still, perhaps a warm meal might snap him out of this state of shock. However, the kitchen was destroyed by Ishmir trebuchets. You'll have to build a fireplace first. With all the debris around, you'll surely have no difficulty find, finding firewood and other useful materials. Right, leave, end. Okay. So, we've got new objectives. Prepare a warm meal for Betrom. Find materials needed to build a stump with sawhorse. Right, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else thought the same. That trailer actually really reminded me of another game I played. It was um, Ancestor's Legacy. It was actually the uh, release trailer for that one. It looked very similar. Uh, so it just reminded me of that game. I don't think it's the same developers. That, well, it's not the same developers. I think the, these developers have actually just come up with one of the game before. Um, that was just called Glory Invictus. Right, the items you've just collected from the debris pile are in the center window. You can move an item by using the left mouse button or drag and drop to com drag and drop to common inventory or by choosing take in the context menu by using the right mouse button. Okay. Um, Alright, so we'll just take all. Okay, so we go over here, build build a stump with sawhorse to chop wood into firewood. Right, okay. Oh, no. Right, if all the available constructors are listed on the left, we have quite materials building the matching green. Right, okay, so. Yeah. Once you select construction, you want to build, you can see its properties on the right. Once you confirm your selection with the button below, choose the construction site location within the castle walls. Okay, any construction can be damaged by enemy projectiles. If it's placed in the exposed area marked in orange in the building mode, you can place it on the, you can place it on the safe blue zone protected by the thick bastion walls, but it's limited area, so you need to decide which buildings to protect i just want to apologize now i'm not sure if you can actually i've got a budgie uh, i'm not sure if you can hear the budgie in the background if you can i really i'm sorry about that right uh okay stop yeah that's the one build that right so we can rotate it as well right let's just I just wanted to zoom out so I could actually see a bit more what I was doing. Alright, shall we put it there? Oh, okay. So I think we can yeah, fast forward as well. Chop some wood. Okay. Okay, so we can craft new items here. Once you select the scheme for the for the item you want to craft, you can see its properties on the right. 
Just confirm your selection. Use the button. Right, okay. Right, so you can make, you can craft things from different uh, ingredients as well. Okay. Um, shop wood. It doesn't say what wood. Uh, I'll, I'll go with this. Hopefully that's the right one. I'm assuming it is. If, if we need to cook something, yeah, find the raw raw. Okay. So we've got eggs, rotten food, materials, fibers. Okay, uh, we'll take we'll take all that. We're going to leave the rotten food there because we do not want that. Build a fireplace using the storehouse. Okay. Ah, sorry, I did that wrong. Right, where should we put the fireplace? Should we, oh, maybe not. That's too close to the hay there. Let's put it right there. Make a meal using the fireplace. Okay. Uh, right, so we can make. I mean, it doesn't actually say what the meal is, but. Okay, we just need eggs and wood, so I'm assuming it's uh, scrambled eggs. Petrum is still exactly where you left him, shivering and pressing the tattered doll to his chest. His eyes stare absently, pain frozen in, on his face. It's as, it's as though his mind just cannot escape what must have been the, his darkest moment. Feed him. He barely notices your presence, but you manage to make him eat, bite after bite. You can see life coming back into him. Finally, he puts down the empty bowl and falls asleep. It's just to guess, it's, it's safe to guess he hasn't once shut his eyes since yesterday. Let him rest. Continue. Uh, Betrum's recovery would be so much better if he had uh, even a simple bed, which could build, uh, which you could build with materials lying in the streets. The gate connecting the city to the castle is damaged, uh, but you recall there's a secret passage leading to the city market. You could use it uh, and look out for some supplies under the cover of night. Right, okay, so I think we're going to leave the castle. Um, but wait a minute, who's that? A man standing by the gate leading to the bastion. Oh, my God. The soldier standing before you is covered in, his, in blood. His eyes dim with exhaustion. The tunic on his armour torn to shreds. Only once he speaks you recognise Galvik, an experienced garrison member known and liked by the citizens for his cordial attitude. He's stunned, speechless by the loss of his aunt and niece. Yet another blow falling on a man already exhausted. But there is no time to grieve. Ishmir's will attack soon, he says. We must resupply before it happens. Then he reveals that a group of soldiers is searching through the city as well, but they still haven't come back. That's why he needs your help. What do you need? We need arrows, he says. Quite a lot of them. Of course, it would take days to craft them from scratch, but how about the bo bo bows? Boys, bows, maybe bows. I'm assuming if it's uh, making arrows. Bows workshop in the city. 
That's your chance. Hurry, says Galvic. All our lives depend on you. He returns to the bastion. Right, so I think we're leaving the castle and we're actually going to be sneaking around the uh, city streets now. Um, yeah, scavenge the city, scout the enemy lines. Oh, so he's out of the way. All right, right, okay. Ah, so I think those options may have come up. They would be the options we can do when we leave the castle in future. Obviously, I'm assuming we just need to uh, progress further. Here you can make it all. Here you can make all the preparations before entering the city. The map displayed on the left shows the secret paths of, from the castle. Only one of them is available at the moment. But if you find a way to unlock the, the others, you'll be able to start your night in different parts of the city. Right. Okay. On the top right corner, you can see the backpack uh, of the selected character. Each each of them is has. Sorry, each of them having a different number of slots available. Think about what items you would need during the scavenge and move them from your common supplies to the backpack. Torches, shovels and weapons would be your usual usual choice. Uh, you have one torch, okay. Okay. Right, so. Um, okay, at the minute we've got nothing in our backpack. Although I did just think it said we had one torch, but... Ah, it's... Ah, okay, so we've got to move it from our supplies. Right. Um... I think we'll just go with the torch for now. Yeah, I think we'll just go with the torch. Right, so... Start scavenging. You've entered the uh, despoiled city below the castle. You can move faster by double clicking the left mouse button, but be warned, running is louder, and this city is under occupation. It is definitely a good idea to move carefully and mind your surroundings. Right, okay. So I guess we'll just have to take our time with this. So I need to find two wood, one cloth and one fiber and search for arrows. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've got the wood and, wood and the fiber. Is this a boy's house? You have found the boy's workshop. Needless to say, the Ishmirs have been here. The building has been scorched and, and looted. Its owners hang from the nearby tree, a dozen arrows sticking from his body. As you gaze on the destruction, a chilling wind reminds you why you're here, to find arrows for the soldiers. Only one way to find out. You prowl through the devastated workshop, looking for the precious arrows among the piles of broken parts and burnt out furniture. Time passes, but you can't find any. Just as you're about to give up, you spot a flash in the dark under the broken roof beam. Could it be? Yes, arrows for the bastion defenders. You try pulling them out, but they seem stuck under broken beams. Under, a bro under the broken beam, sorry. You pull and pull until they're all yours. Suddenly, the dislodged beam... Sorry, I've just realised I'm reading this like a, like a bedtime story. I don't know why. <laughs> Suddenly, the dislodged beam collapses on top of you. With all of its weight, pain shoots through the whole body. It takes ages to get free. As you leave the workshop, you see something's changed. Ooh. The bowyer's corp has been taken down. Oh. An old woman leans over over the body in, in the shade of the tree. She's sobbing, exhausted, and you can guess she's been, she must be his mother. She had risked her life to cut her son down and bury him in the shallow grave. 
the woman struggles to move him, but she hurts herself with the axe under his belt. Oh dear. Help her bury the corpse, take the axe and leave. Oh, I mean, an axe would come in handy, but I guess we'll have to help her bury the corpse. The woman is started to see you and start to see you approach, but you see relief in her eyes as she realizes you want to help. Once the corpse is, corpse is buried, she gives you a small sack and silently walks away into the dark. All right, so I've got two bundles of arrows, and okay, she gave me some valuables as well. Excellent. Just need to find a bit of cloth. Um, I'm guessing. Oh. Well, it's not really in here. This is a bit more fiber, I guess. Right. So uh, we need to find cloth now because we don't have much space for anything else. I might get a bit of a move on here. More dead bodies dotted around the streets. Very colourful market though. Uh, burnt corpse smelling lovely there. Oh, could do with that meat. Okay. Well, we need to find fibre and we have no more space in our backpack, so we need to get rid. What do we need? We need the fibres, we need the wood. I imagine the materials and the valuables will come in handy and so will the food, so... Uh, we'll drop, drop the greens and herbs. Hopefully we don't need them. Right, am I going to have to walk through this? Is this going to make me ill or something? Oh, no, okay. Oh, damaged light armor. I wonder if we can wear that. Or we have to repair it, maybe, for the guards. Uh, right, what... Uh, what can we drop? I mean, I feel like we've got a lot of wood in the castle anyway, we've got another five there, so we'll drop that, we'll take that. We have now got everything, so let's head back to the castle. Yes, I really want to return. The night was calm, but the enemies and the enemy assault can only can come any day. We must prepare for it. We should use this chance to help soldiers at the bastion. Okay, start a new day. Uh, talk. To, okay, so we need to talk to him. Probably need to build him a bed. It seems better. I'm feeling much better. A loss of. The loss of the family had a crushing impact on him that only, that only time can fully heal. Nonetheless, finally, the carpenter has recovered from his shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. Excellent. It was Flint, right? He asked. I remember you visiting my workshop once or twice with Galvik. Thanks for your help. Now we, now we should take care of the animals and find fresh water. Bedroom is right. Fresh water is paramount. In a stroke of bad luck, the castle well took a direct hit from the trebuch trebuchets. Still, maybe if you clear away the debris, might you clear away the debris, you might repair it somehow. You've got to try. Right. Okay. You've unlocked a second character. Ah, oh, nice. So we can use both characters now. Uh, you can switch between the characters, the tab key, or by selecting them. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's a handyman. Each character has a different set of strengths and weaknesses which determine what your survivor excels at or not. 
you can see these feats in the biography window along with the character's backstory. Okay. Oh, there's a lot to do now. Right. Well, what do we need to do? Send arrows to the... Right, that's... Bastion, no? Is that... Okay, where's the bastion then? Oh! <laughs> it's the big button on the top of the screen. Right. You can see reports about upcoming enemy assaults. Sometimes you will need to scout behind enemy lines to actually obtain this information. Oh, that's cool. Um, it is important to keep the bastion strength as high as possible in order to minimize defenders' lossage and wall damage. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so I'll just drop this stuff in there. I'm, same, I'm assuming that's the same as with me collecting inventory stuff things. Right, so that's what we can give them at the minute. Um, right, let's start just tidying up a bit, I think. Okay, so we are collecting quite a few things at the minute, so that's good. Right, so we can prepare that. Re re prepare? Well, yeah, prepare as well. We can repair the armor. Um, I still don't know what we'll be able to do with it. Probably give it to the soldiers. It would be cool if we could wear it though. Uh, right, we've got some chickens, we've got some pigs. So actually, let's clean. Yeah, let's finish cleaning up first, and then we will start doing the missions. Oh, looks like a trebuchet now. Yeah, there's the counterweight. Right, let's see what this is. You remove the debris blocking the well. Sadly, to no avail. The well's base has been crushed by the trebuchet projectile. The shaft itself, the shaft itself is blocked, and there's no way you can clear it out before the dying before dying of thirst. Uh, perhaps you could find some possible water in the city market under the cover of darkness. It's risky, but it's the best chance you have. Right, so I think we need to go back out to the city. But I'm not sure if they're meant to be attacking tonight. Uh, let's fast forward so it helps them search a bit faster. So what we do with the chickens? You need to manage your animals. They can be very useful alive. For example, well-fed chickens lay eggs. Let's feed your animals, select the food. Right, so I'm assuming it's the same again. Um, taken out of our in inventory. Putting it there. Um, right, so. Yeah, let's give that. We're going to have to find. Oh, we can slaughter the animal as well. Lovely. Right, so we're going to have to find uh, some more food for the pigs. Uh, I don't really want to give away the herbs, or feed them the herbs, because. They also cure illness and poisoning, so I imagine they will come in quite handy at some point. Okay, flint savings. So, building and fighting. Okay, so he's good at fighting as well. What's the other guy? Uh, good at. Capacity of the cars. Ah, right, so he's meant to have a bigger capacity backpack. Although there were still three spaces not available, so I wonder what his would be. Right, so he's almost done. Uh, is there anything else we can do here? I mean, I've already sent the arrows to the bastion. Oh, we just found more arrows. Excellent. Right, let's. Okay. We can't go back. We can't go back to the bastion now then. Um, oh, is that? I'm so confused. Uh, 
place this item to send. Right, I have done. And it is not. No, it's not working. Right, so we'll have to cancel that for now. Ooh, the night has come. Right, so. Obviously, he's depressed. Uh, he is thirsty, exhausted, lightly wounded, slightly sick. Excellent. Uh, let's. Um, right. I just think we'll just take the torch again. Find clean water. I can't recall seeing a well anywhere. And I've just thought, was I meant to bring something to carry the clean water in? Let's hope not. Okay, so I need a shovel to remove that, and then I'll, I imagine it will open another area. We might as well collect some more things while we're here. Okay, well that's dirty water. Maybe we can clean it somehow. Um, so I'll take it. I, mean, I feel like I'm just collecting resources now, just for the sake of it. Yeah, let's actually go and look for water. Ah, so maybe all the water's in the barrels then. Right, that's over there. Let me check this first. Clean water. Excuse Okay, so we have found clean water. Excellent. I just want to see. That's not the way we came from. I want to see what's down here. You approach the city gate from the market to the harbour. It would be incredibly convenient shortcut for the nightly for your nightly journeys. The door, however, is solid and is definitely shut. If Ismir's haven't been able to breach it, you need a key. But where could it be? Right, okay, so well, there'll be a key around here somewhere. But we've got the water for now, so I think we'll head back to uh, the keep. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we are. So I think all the all the little details in this game are really cool. If you just if you're looking around as I'm walking around, it's uh, it's really interesting just to to see all the details they've put into the game. Uh, the enemy sort of approaches. We must uh, get ready for the worst. The enemies are preparing to attack, and we need to support our soldiers to help them stop the assault. Okay. I mean, I would have thought they would have attacked by now. Oh, maybe we've got some eggs to collect. 
Oh my god, is he still depressed? He's walking very slow. Oh no, is he ex he's exhausted. He's the one that's exhausted, isn't he? Oh, dying of thirst. Um, medicine. Right, I don't. Oh, dude, is he gonna die? The enemy is firing siege engines. A flying rock can cause serious damage when it hits a character or workshop. But some of the stones can be collected and used to strengthen the walls of the bastion. The defenders do everything they can to defend the castle against the invaders. The item you provide them, the item you provide them, give them a the item. Sorry, the items you provide them gives uh, gives them a light of hope. Um, for survival. The arrangement of bars and numbers represented the distribution of forces in combat. After the battle is over, they will be refreshed and the battle summary will be displayed. Right, okay. Only a source just started. Right. Can I how do I get him to drink water? Oh, right, so they, oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can get him to drink some water before he dies. Um. Ah, yes, there you go. Ah, excellent, right. I think we had some more arrows. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's not letting him send them over. I'm not sure why at the minute. The battle continues, okay? It seems fairly even at the moment. Uh, I mean, we could go around collecting all these stones to help with the wall. I think maybe when that light colour goes down, I'm guessing that's when the battle's over. The battle has ended. The defenders fought bravely and the enemy suffered heavy losses. Oh, that's a bloody rotten food, I don't want that. Alright, so let's see if we can. Ah, oh, here you go. Okay. Ah, so you can get the characters to hide from the incoming projectiles. Wait, I thought we said the battle was over. It was a tough battle. Our troops are exhausted from the continuous attacks, but our supplies are just enough to keep pushing the enemy back the enemy. Right, so they've used the arrows that I gave them before. Okay, so I think that's the end of that battle. Right, and that'll be the end of this video. Um, like and subscribe if you'd want to see more videos like this, or if you've got any other uh, games you want to see me play, uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.